Hello everyone. In this presentation, I'd like to give you a little bit of a feel for what National Flag Biology is like to help you to choose whether you'd like to do it uh, for third year and fourth year, and maybe even take it on to higher and advanced higher. Most of you will already know the staff that are present in the biology department, but just in case uh, you're new to the school or or anything like that. Here we are, there's, there's three teachers, myself, Dr. Brennan and Dr. Denheen, and our super technician, Mrs. Bain. There's our expertise. Uh, we, we cover quite a range of biology, uh, and we're actually quite a friendly bunch. We may well be a friendly bunch, but some of us have no musical taste whatsoever. I've never heard of Brittany. So just to give you a little bit of information about the course, there are three units and a project. We normally start with unit one, cell biology, which you will be familiar with some of this, uh, certainly from first year and second year, but we look it's more to do with looking at cells, inside cells, cell structure and function, uh, and uh, how do we produce, produce new cells, how do we undergo DNA replication, all about proteins and enzymes, genetic engineering and respiration. It's a very practical based unit. Uh, a lot of the, the, the topics in here allow us to, to do lots of practical work, uh, which is fun and you know is what makes I think what makes biology special. Unit two, as it said, is about multicellular organisms. We look at how cells divide, these stem cells that uh, create all the different types of tissues, uh, specific tissues in our bodies. How do we uh, communicate within our bodies, how do we control that communication, looking at hormone function, reproduction, a little topic on reproduction, um, looking at the gametes and the, the germ cells that uh, make us who we are, and then a, a very interesting topic in variation and inheritance. How is it? Why is it you look the way you do? Why don't you look exactly like your mum or dad? Why aren't you the same as your sister or your brother? And then after that, look at plant and animal transport. How do we transport these materials that we need in order to grow, in order to function and to live? The third unit, Life on Earth, as you can see from the titles of all the, the, the sections that we do, is all about really the, the, the ecosystem, um, biodiversity, looking at uh, where does all this energy come from that, that we need. And so we do a particularly nice wee topic in photosynthesis in the middle of it, looking at the, the production of uh, uh, carbohydrates by plants, sampling techniques, um, and then we move into looking at evolution, natural selection, uh, how do species evolve, how do species come about. So the actual course assessment uh, at the end of the day, at the end of fourth year, when you set your exam in, in May, please God, uh, that, that's, that assessment is split up into, into two sections, uh, multiple choice sections for 25 marks and a, what we call a short answer section for 75 marks. Uh, about, it's probably more about 70, 60 to 70% knowledge and understanding and then you'll also have to be able to demonstrate your uh, problem solving skills as well. So in addition to the, the course assessment, the external exam that you will sit in May, there's also an assignment which you will, will do round about October, November in your fourth year. And this is a practical investigation. And then after the practical investigation, you have to write the practical investigation up, giving it a title, doing some underlying biology, a results section and a, a discussion and evaluation section. So. Uh, it's worth 20 marks, it's marked out of 20, but then that's scaled up to 25. So the assignment comprises about 20% of the final mark. Really, as I said in the previous slide, uh, these are all the, 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 the general broad stages of the report uh, that you have to undergo. So we have an awful lot of practice in the investigation now in, in uh, doing the assignment. And I'm quite confident that if you listen carefully, that everybody should do well in the assignment. So the question 
arises obviously of why do you want to do national five biology and I put down a lot of careers here possible careers that you may want to take it may seem a bit premature to be thinking about these things because many people do national five biology because they actually like the subject uh, and I think it's an important subject to give you this broad knowledge of what's going on in the world you know how things work and indeed with this pandemic and the uh, uh, the, the vaccination program and uh, all these new words that people are learning uh, a lot, an awful lot of that we cover in National 5 and Higher Biology but of course you may well uh, have a chosen career path and National 5 Biology really you are beginning your career path here doing this maybe moving on to do higher human biology and then advanced higher then moving on into university so lots of areas where you could uh, begin your, your begin your journey with National Five Biology. I'm just really showing you a few possible career paths that, that came to mind while I was making up this PowerPoint. Uh, but there are many, many more that you can do. And here's just a few more subjects, some more careers that you, you may want to consider. But of course, many of these uh, titles that you see here like the food industry or education or environmental health can branch out, branch out into many other different types of, of career. You may want to look at this website which has about 96 different careers in biology which you might want to consider but also remember that any career in any of the sciences uh, be it medicine or by informatics or agriculture or food sciences uh, will probably require you to have a good solid foundation in another science such as chemistry or physics. So that brings us really to the end of this PowerPoint presentation. I hope it's answered some of your questions about National Five Biology. I'm pretty sure it hasn't answered every question that you have. So just remember you can always get in contact with us and ask us any question and we'll be any member of staff will be delighted to, to help you out okay so take care finally